Hey guys, Patience here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your own DIY sugar wax. So I'm going to show you exactly how to make the wax. I'm going to start by showing you guys exactly what you will need in terms of equipment and ingredients. So in terms of ingredients, you're going to need lemon juice, sugar, water, and coconut oil. Simple, right? We're going to start with our sugar and we're going to take half a cup of sugar and put that into our measuring container. Make sure that it's microwavable and it can stand really hot temperatures because you're going to be using boiling sugar essentially. So add two tablespoons of water into a half, into a quarter cup. Now you're going to grab your lemon juice and it doesn't matter if it's bottled or fresh. You can also use lime juice, vinegar and even citric acid. So you're going to want to take two tablespoons of that. So now that we've essentially made a quarter cup of liquid, we're going to add that into our container with sugar. Make sure you give that a really good mix. Obviously, sugar's not going to dissolve yet because you don't have anything warmed, I don't know, the sugar, but just make sure that everything is well incorporated. This mixture is going to be going in the microwave, but if you want me to make one in a pot, just make sure to subscribe and comment down below if you see that. And then just click the notification button if you want notifications on whenever I post. Okay, so next you're going to pop this into the microwave and we're first going to put it in for about 30 seconds just to kind of get everything melted a little bit. And as you can see with the mixture, you can see just now, um, a lot of the sugar settled to the bottom, but that's okay. Just put it on 30 seconds for now. Once the 30 seconds is up, just make sure you're being really safe and you can use your oven glove to take your container out of the microwave and give that a mix just to make sure it's even more combined and it incorporates really well. One tip I really, really want to make sure to emphasize is that you want to make sure that with your tablespoon, you give it a rinse every single time you finish using it. This is because you want to avoid crystallizing the sugar that's already heated up with the sugar that is kind of warm and cold. Now we're going to put that back into the microwave for another three minutes. And while that's going, I just thought it would be really helpful to read out some of the benefits of using sugar wax. So the first thing I personally notice um, from using sugar wax is that it removes your dead skin and kind of exfoliates your skin, which gives you a much better texture over time especially. It's a lot less painful than normal wax and it's pretty low cost and budget friendly because most of the ingredients are natural and that definitely means that it's free of chemicals as well. I found that that's really helpful, especially if you have sensitive skin like me. Um, another thing I noticed was that your hair grows back a lot slower. You have about five to six weeks of the results after using it because you're literally pulling the hair from the follicle. 
it sounds scary but just just try it <laughs> so you don't get any cuts like you do when you're shaving and the nice thing is that bacteria doesn't breed in the sugar paste that you're making and there's also less risk of having an allergic reaction and developing ingrown hairs if you're really prone to those sorts of things I don't know if this is the best part or what, but the nice thing about sugar paste is that it's water soluble, which means that if you choose to back out like at any point, you can just rinse it off. So it doesn't adhere to any live skin cells that are on your body. And it's very easily available. And I think that it's relatively easy to make, especially if you make it in the microwave. Then over time, the areas that kind of have darker pigmentation, that sort of thing, kind of get brightened because you're exfoliating it a lot more. I really just wanted to warn you guys once again to be very careful because you're literally making boiling sugar. So just be very cautious when you're doing this. And as you can see, after three minutes, your sugar is mostly dissolved, but the color is quite light. When you make this over time, you can kind of see when it's a bit too light or when you completely burnt your mixture. But right now it just looks a bit too light. I'm just giving it a mix to make sure that all of the sugar granules get mixed in properly and also mixing it helps increase the rate of reaction. This is going to go in for another 30 seconds just to kind of test to see if it's there yet or not. Whilst we're kind of waiting for that to get ready, when it's done, you're going to see that it's going to be slightly darker than it was before. And if you're not sure if it's ready and you want to put it in again, just make sure you're putting it in at 30 second intervals. So this looks a bit darker than it was last time, so I feel like it might be done. I'm just going to give it a mix and again, just make sure you rinse your tablespoon before reintroducing it to the mixture. If your mixture does look thin, just remember that it's probably really hot and the more it cools down, the more it kind of thickens. I put mine back into the microwave for another 30 seconds just to get it to a golden like color because that's kind of what we're looking for. I know it's hard to tell brown sugar but it does look like it has more of a golden hue than it did before when it started. That's why it's kind of nice to try it with white sugar because you can see exactly when it turns and just remember that it turns really quick. So the most important thing is that our sugar is melted and if you find this video helpful and you're enjoying it just make sure to give it a like it lets me know that you enjoy the content and it supports the channel lets me know that you're going to make more videos like this and if you do just make sure to subscribe so you can see them and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified you know if I post more videos like this the same way I thought that it would be useful to give you guys the benefits, I thought it would be really helpful to give you guys the drawbacks of sugar waxing. These are the ones that I've noticed um, with regards to making it at least. And I guess the first one is to remember that using sugar wax is a bit of a messy process. Um, it can cause a bit of a redness after you've waxed, especially if you have sensitive skin. You can also expect to see just a bit of swelling, 
information and don't be discouraged if your mix should not come out nice the first time because it does take time and practice to keep making it. First thing you're going to want to do is grab your storage container and line it with coconut oil. This is where the coconut oil comes in. Now the bowl of cold water, I just used fridge water, um, essentially just to cool down our mixture before we pour it into the plastic container. I'm going to cool it down, let it sit for maybe five minutes and I'm going to give mine a mix just to make sure that it's moving still because it cools down quite quickly. So I'm not sure if you guys can tell but the mixture is a bit thicker than when we first took it out of the microwave and this is because we're cooling it down so we can store it in our very plastic container. If you're using a glass container, you do want to make sure that you cool it down just a little bit um, just to be able to tell if the mixture is at the right consistency. So the reason we're lining our container with coconut oil is so that when we want to use it, we can get every single last drop of it. And I'm just pouring it into the container straight from its cooling. And you can tell it's a good consistency because it almost looks like syrup. It's almost like a honey texture. At this point, it had been quite cool and I could touch it without getting burnt or anything like that. But again, just be very, very careful. If you guys want me to show you exactly how to use it, how to wax your own hair at home, just let me know. And obviously subscribe so that you know you can kind of see on my channel when I posted it you just comment in the comment section and I was really determined to get every last drop of this but as you can see it didn't burn me at all at this point it had to cool down to almost body temperature ignore my thumbnail I haven't gotten a chance to cut my nails yet and my thumb um, just broke off the night before which is kind of annoying but yeah so cleaning up now we're just gonna add water to our microwave container I just use the water from our cooling down and you just go ahead and put that into the sink and that's just gonna dissolve and you can just clean it like you normally would. It's kind of fast for you. There you have it guys, your sugar wax recipe. Just give me a like if you enjoyed this video and yeah, come again.